This is a Raspberry Pi logo on a Raspberry Pi chip, but this is not a Raspberry Pi. It's a Latte Panda IOTA. The IOTA is similar at first glance to a Raspberry Pi 5, but it's based on an Intel N150 processor, which means unlike the Raspberry Pi 5, it can run regular Windows or regular Linux operating systems. Now, it has all the ports and everything you would expect, but where it differentiates, again, is with this row of headers over here. The names on the pins might look familiar if you've ever used one of these, a Raspberry Pi Pico. That chip I showed you a moment ago is the exact same chip that's on a Raspberry Pi Pico. So all these pins can go and interface with sensors or motors or whatever hardware you want. Meanwhile, your main CPU is running your operating system, your games, whatever. This is built for tinkerers in even more ways though. For example, you can get these first party expansions that have power over ethernet, or this one's a UPS backup, battery powered backup for the device. It's just really customizable in general. I've never seen so many BIOS settings, such well thought out hardware interfaces, I'm liking it a lot. It's neat.